This is Barnstable Today for Monday, January 26. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark Mumford. And please take note that all the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. Today marks a milestone in planning for a new terminal at Barnstable Municipal Airport. That's our focus today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. The 60% design for the terminal project is due today and was a point of interest as Airport Commission Chair Dan Santos updated the Airport Commission at their latest meeting. The terminal design, the 60% design, is due on January 26th. And we are hoping to have uh, a review at our next meeting of that 60% design. Uh, we discussed a number of items. We, we did, uh, the model that we have here, we talked about uh, the purpose for that, help us understand scale and some of the finishes and as we start developing uh, floor and wall finishes we can start applying them to the models and get a real sense for so how that's going to look. Um, we talked about just, just with regard to the, the uh, design is some uh, water department issues and how we provide service, uh, how we provide the water service to the new building. The 60% design would be officially going to the town for their input and review. We're trying to work closely with them the last year anyway on, on all of our matters, so we're looking for their, their input. We looked at some canopy designs. Outside of the terminal proper, there'll be a, an a arrival passenger road and a departing passenger road, and between there is a large sidewalk. And one of the items we have for an alternate bid item, if we can afford it, is a canopy there so that people that are waiting will be able to be protected from the elements. So we reviewed some designs for that as we proceed. And we looked at some preliminary color schemes for floor, carpeting, paint, as far as that, that goes. And uh, finally, we looked at some uh, possible locations for, uh, for art, artwork. And we haven't decided how that might go, but obviously a public facility, it's nice <coughs> to have art, and we may uh, pursue some competitions or some thoughts with the uh, Cape Cod Museum of Art, and uh, some connection there, and uh, it's something that we feel is important, <coughs> and we'll just identify some areas where we can have that in the future. It doesn't mean we can have to do it now either, we can provide uh, space for uh, public art in the future. That's important aspect of the, of the design. Okay. Airport Commission member Michael Dunning offered his input in contemplating artwork in a new terminal. Uh, but uh, I, I would like to say that I think the idea of a mural or a series of murals is an excellent idea. And uh, I'd like to bring to the board's attention uh, some of the, uh, uh, the artwork that's uh, visible that's uh, part of the, uh, the terminal of Tampa. And they have a couple of very, very nice murals uh, showing the, uh, uh, the, uh, the airline industry, probably in the 40s, propel propeller planes and people going up the tarmac, getting on and off the planes, DC-3s and things like that. And you know, it's uh, kind of nostalgic, uh, but it's, uh, it's very interesting. And when people are waiting in line and so forth and so on, it's something interesting to look at. Uh, and uh, in addition, uh, I comment that here, you know, we have a couple of particularly interesting things here, I think. You know, we have a long history that goes back to 1929. We have the, uh, the, the first plane that landed here was uh, one of those Ford three-engine planes, uh, uh, the aluminum, I guess it was. And tri-motor. Tri-motor, tri right. And then, uh, you know, we had the Navy here in the 40s. There's a lot, a lot of interesting things here. We had DC-3s until fairly recently. And there's a lot of uh, interesting things that this uh, it could be considered as a subject matter of, of uh, uh, a mural that might be appropriate for this location. That's, that's it for my art comments. Coming up on February 5th, in a public session, the Airport Commission will interview the two finalists for the job of airport manager. Meanwhile, getting around on the ground remains a wintertime concern for many drivers. At the latest town council meeting, Councillor Hank Farnham had a ground transportation question that was answered by DPW Director Mark Ells. The second thing was I, I was at the uh, Recycle Center a couple days ago and, um, and 
I happen to notice the you know the big barn where they store all the sand and stuff in there, and usually it's pretty full, but it was pretty far down to almost empty, and I, I couldn't help but think with many of our roads, because it's been so cold for so long, we have these reoccurring uh, snows and ice, and it melts and thaws and freezes, and it's, it's a lot of our roads are really in, in uh, a challenging shape, and, and just maybe if we could get a sense so that the public understands how we go about the prioritizing the sanding, and if we have enough sand uh, to get us through the year, and if we have another supply coming in, uh, and anything else that could come to, I, I've had a few phone calls about uh, concerns about some of the roads with a lot of ice on them. I happen to live on the uh, Olympic Luge training ground, so it's. Uh, <laughs> Good evening, Mark Ells, Director of Public Works. Um, salt and sand, uh, more salt than sand, are in uh, short supply at this time. We are ordered to replenish both. Um, we expect to receive those uh, so that we don't run out and have an issue with it. Uh, as far as sanding and salting calls, we actually get a lot of inquiries from our residents. I've tried to get on the radio a few times and explain that we have a little bit different procedure now. We usually treat the roads before a snowstorm um, with an ice band, uh, sand, or salt mix uh, that, that stays on the roads as an organic compound. Um, it, it has a residual effect in the sense that it helps to melt snow, not just for the event that's ongoing, but sometimes well beyond three or four days, but it depends on the type of storm. Uh, it's cut down our need for the use of uh, salt and sand, uh, helps us later on when we got to go back and clean it all up. If a resident um, experiences a situation where they can see continued icing on their roadways, don't hesitate to call us. We have uh, 1,800 roads in town. So uh, we, we need to hear from them when they see it. They'll be the first eyes to see it. The police are great. Sometimes the fire departments will call us on it. Uh, the police are our eyes as well. They the help. town council meeting went into executive session, and when the councilors returned to open session, they dealt with five-year contract extensions for town manager John Klim and finance director Mark Milne. Yeah, the important point to make is that both um, Mark Milne and John right. Klim have um, offered to not take the cost of living increase this, um, for this first contract year. Let me, let me read the amendment as it should read. Um, under A, an extension of the contract with town manager John C. Klim from June 30th, 2010 until June 30th, 2015 with no cost of living increase in FY 2010 at the request of the town manager. And under B, an extension of the contract with finance director Mark Milne from June 30th, 2010 until June 30th, 2015 with no cost of living increase in FY 2010 at the request of the finance director. The five-year contract extensions for both John Klim and Mark Milne were voted on favorably by the council. And just a reminder, you can watch the entire town council meeting at your convenience on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. As far as the upcoming meeting schedule is concerned, this evening at 7, the planning board will be gathering in the town hall hearing room. Then tomorrow evening at 5, it's Coastal Resources in the Selectman's Conference Room. Also tomorrow evening, it's the school committee focusing on finalizing the restructuring plan with a hearing room session starting at 7 and Waterways meets over at the MEA Conference Room off Finney's Lane at that same time. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kevin Friel. We'll meet you right back here tomorrow. I'm Mark Mumford.